Morning, guys. We're going to pick up a baby bird. Just me and mom. And then we're going to swim with my best friend, Shayla. Good morning, guys, and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about saving a life. Every life has value. And I think we proved that because Stella, our mayor, mayor is so valuable to us, huh? So we're just talking to Stella now? No, yeah. But anyway, we're going to go and rescue a baby bird. You guys have seen us do it before. Uh, but first, got to go do chores. Baby, baby bird. So it's not going to be annoying Levi. Yeah. And... Uh, Okay. Levi's yeah. cute, but he's annoying. So, um, uh, we are dressed for summer. It's supposed to be a whopping 31 degrees today. Gabby, on the other hand, in her teenage brain, is dressed for beauty and not the weather. No, I'm dressed because I didn't have Guys, anything else like, to wear. So it's so cold inside. And you walk outside and you're like... <laughs> we got the air on inside and no air on outside. Well, Let's go. I Hi, handsome. You can always tell who did grain last night because um, if it's got little treats inside the buckets, it means Sophie did it. Sophie did grain. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, Finn. That is dangerous, dude. Why? Why you gotta do that? You're a destroyer. Huh. And poop machines. Wait. You girls, get, get. Get, Willow, you're not going in. <sighs> Yesterday we were hanging in the arena, so I put my chairs here, and Finn destroys them. It's what they do, it's what he does. He's a baby, he's a baby. For any of you guys who think that I don't love Storm, oh man, you guys have no idea. He was our first actual horse that we, that we purchased, and we had him for a few months before we got Stella, and I love that boy. On some levels, he's our best horse, and he's an incredible horse. Like, he is amazing best horse. He has the best ground manners. Even Stella's a good horse with ground manners, but, but Storm, like Storm is a well-behaved horse. Storm and I actually have a very strong relationship. Storm has a relationship with Sam too, different than the girls. Like, he it, babysits Sophie. He loves Gabby and is bonded with her. He, she's his true leader. But he comes to me for comfort and he comes to Sam for comfort. And like he knows that we're his family. But he doesn't listen to us. He knows that you won't get him in trouble. Yeah, he does like, know that too. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. literally last year in the winter, uh, the farrier was there and Sam and I had to go because Gabby was away someplace. So Sam and I are there and the I'm horse. Not Chloe and Molly. A horse that tried to kill the farrier. Like literally, and I'm like, Storm, behave! And he didn't listen to us. The minute Gabby walked in, he's like, oh, fucking relax now. Like, yeah, but we have a really strong bond. I love that boy. I love all of our horses. Willow is not that bonded to me. She's the only one who doesn't really care about me that much. Because you stole her from me. Oh. <laughs> and for all the people who think that I'm stealing a fin from Sophie. I am not stealing fin from Sophie. For one thing, I can't ride him because I'm too big. Sass. There she is. There, Jumping sass. 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 She gets sassy and over jumps. I know. She's like, She's like, if you make me do this, I'm really going to do it. And I'm kind of like that too. She Gabby's that like that too. like a standstill too. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm never going to steal Finn. I have a strong connection to Finn, and he needs to have a strong connection to, on a certain level, I'm the adult and the owner of all these horses, Sam and I, because we are the adults, and we pay for them, and we take care of them. Um, but, yeah, like, it's a, a but family. I'm Finn's owner, you and no are. one else is. That's right, and I'm never going to take him from you, no matter how and much you love me. You can't ever walk him because you may let him do whatever he wants. Yeah, it's yeah, true. That's, that's why. Which teaches him more bad him. habits, that's oh, why. God. You're like, Sophia, you're like, Finn, 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 when he's doing stuff wrong. Yeah. And you go, Finn, I that's know. fine. Drag me around the yard, eat grass. I but don't he care. doesn't do that. He didn't drag me around the grass. But listen to this. This is the crazy thing about Finn and me. Like, literally, like, it's the weirdest thing. Like, so the chiropractor was there yesterday and he was a little bit nervous at first. 
And if I stand in front of him and I say, you're okay, you're okay, Finn. He's like, cuddles into me and he stares straight in my eyes and then he can handle anything. Like, he literally stares straight into my eyes while anything bad is happening. And it makes me feel really protective of him and makes me feel like so connected that he's so affectionate. Like, he's so affectionate. Like, the most affectionate of all of our horses. Let's talk about Stella when she finishes her grade. Right, let's talk about Stella. So when she finishes her grade, she likes to go steal other horses. Yeah, that can't happen. Hi. Stella, we're not stealing horses. If you do it again, you're under arrest. Um, there are a Be a girl and don't steal. So uh, since she stopped taking the Prevacox, she's gotten more alert and more, more. <laughs> oh, what more was spooky. that? <laughs> she's like, what? She's not a spooky horse, but I'm getting the heck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I've been reading all the comments on our trail ride videos. Oh my gosh, I freaking love so many of you guys. I wish I had my phone right here with me. I could sh shout out so many of you guys. Like, I was laughing harder reading the comments than I was in the whole video. Like, you guys, it killed me. Like, the one girl, I told her in the comments that I laughed hysterically, but she's talking about how um, can we just take a minute to appreciate the fact that <laughs> text jumped the oxer in the woods with a mouthful of leaves and then came back with a mouthful of leaves still. Like, it was so funny. And what else did she say? And with a yeah, there was something else she said. So funny. Like, you guys, you guys are hilarious. I mean, Comment down below um, oh, what so videos funny. you want me to do on my channel. What? Comment down below of what videos you want me to do yeah, on my Sophie channel. Yeah, Sophie wants to do a video, you guys. So tell them what you're going to do today. Today? Mm-hmm. A video? You're going to take responsibility. Oh, I'm going to take responsibility of the baby car. She's done anyway. So Sophie's going to take over the charge of baby bird. Yeah, his name is baby bird. Maybe you should call him Eli. I just feel it. But And we'll, we'll see what color he is and then we can name him. Yeah, but so, for now, his name is Baby Bird. Yeah, so she wants to do that, and I think it's important for a little girl to take yeah, the life of a bird in her hands and, and be responsible for him. You. Take over everything. And poor Sophie, the youngest. No, I take over Willow. Yeah, you did. I'm the only one who can catch her. Right? Yeah, she, right, only, she only trusts you. Run away. So let us up when we're low. Just change the waves We'll make it up as we go If you're happy I'll show you where to go Want you set free Behind the time for love We run away To get us up when we're low Oh Even if I lose my ground I will let it all me down. It's supposed to be 31 degrees today. So super hot. So, so super hot. And um, Sylvia and I are headed to the beach. We're a family divided today. So um, we decided that we're going to put the horses in today. They're going to all get to hang out in their stall. The guys are supposed to come take out all the stuff that's junky around the property. So it's better for them to be in their stall anyway. They will all be in here together in their stalls. Cool, because the barn is cooler than outside. And then we'll put them out again at night time when it's cooler. Because, yeah, got to take care of the them. Baby, baby bird's mine. Yeah, I'm giving that baby bird to Sophie to take care of. And his name's Baby Bird for now. You, well, they named him already. What? Tweedledee. It's not me. We will go our way until we go. Sophie and I uh, traveled 40 or 45 minutes the way I drive to the trailer Oops. Wow. and we did it we did it we did it last night I dreamed that I was on Stella and she took off with me and it wasn't very bad though like I screamed and then I 
um, uh, realized really quickly that that wasn't a real spook. And then I realized really quickly that wasn't even a Stella. So, or that wasn't even a horse. And that's what I kind of woke up to. Me realizing something was going to take off with me and it wasn't really a horse. So then I got up and I drove 40 minutes to the trailer. And it was kind of nerve wracking, but I did it. That's called being brave, you guys. So I got Sophie. Sam and I are divided today. He stayed home with Gabby waiting for people to come clean up our property. And I am with Sophie. I'm excited to correct. I'm excited to spend the day with you. I'm excited to go see Tweedledee. So, um, Shayla was at camp yesterday, horse camp, and she found a baby bird, and the cat there eats all the baby birds out of the nest, and it was a lot, and it was pretty young, and she couldn't get it back up into the nest, and so she took it home, and she asked me to come and get it, and we're gonna take on the adventures of another baby bird. If you guys don't remember, last summer we had a baby bird, and the summer before that we had a baby bird, and they are like the most fun. We make our way, turn what we see to memories. Don't be afraid, just break the chains of your feet. just messaged me and she said the bird is dead and I'm on my way and we were like oh, it died <laughs> we were freaking out and then she sent another message and said I meant he's fed not dead <laughs> he's okay oh, oh my goodness you're adorable he's way smaller than I thought he was gonna be yeah. is he fed yep I just fed him oh he must be. Aw, you're okay. He's still hungry, Shayla. Yeah. Me, can I give him some more? Yep. Um, I have it right here. He's beautiful. I'm glad you're not dead. <laughs> That's like the funniest typo ever, huh? So this is the newest member of the day, fam. Shayla saved his life. Sometimes when little birds fall out of the nest, though, they get some kind of internal injuries that you can't see and they don't actually make it very far, but this guy seems pretty robust, doesn't he? He seems pretty healthy. He moves around in the box a lot too. Yeah, and he's adorable. So I'd say he's about three days old is my guess. And I don't know what kind he is, but you can tell that he's got some pretty definitive feathers growing in there. Like our last bird, if you guys remember from last year, who remembers the name of last year's baby bird? Don't tell him. <laughs> I remember. Yeah. Shayla remembers. Who remembers the last year? Every year I pray for God to bring me a bird. This is the third year in a row that God gave us a baby bird. I don't know why and I don't know what the meaning is, but I'm grateful for him. Every don't birds bring good luck. Do they? That's what I think. They bring good luck. I think they bring good luck too. Um, every life has value. A lot of people would say just leave it. The cat will get it or That's just let it die. Or just let it die because that's just the nature of the world but every life has value and god brought this little bird to us for a reason right mm -hmm. for a short time or for a long time who knows i'm gonna spend the day just sitting here getting sun it's 79 degrees always it's the same cold every day unless they fill it is it cold shayla It's scorching out and all the horses are in and we have storm wind back. And I just told Gabby, better bring storm in because it's way too hot out. It's supposed to be 34 degrees Celsius with the Humidex and that is way too hot. So we're going to put the horses in their stalls now. And hopefully it'll cool down. It's only 11 o'clock, so it won't cool down. Hey, Willow. Hey, Willow. Is it hot out? You're in the shade. You're lucky, girl. You are a lucky girl. There's Storm. All the way out there. Gabby's going to get him. Because it's too hot for him. And he doesn't go in the shade. Like, way in the back there, there's a bunch of trees. He doesn't go under there. And he's turning light brown now. 
got Ben and Stella and they're lucky they have a shelter. But for today, they're all going in their stalls. They have lunch in there and that's what they're doing. So no workers showed up today. So we're not gonna get our area cleaned again and they're probably not showing up because it's too hot, but they didn't even text me and let me know they're not showing up. Anyways, hopefully we can get this sorted out because we need our uh, barn ready for hay because we're going to get cutting our hay soon. We make our way to what we see to memories. Don't be afraid. Just break the chains of your feet. Shayla here. We've just been at the pool. I'm, I'm all sunburned. You're freezing? She, she has a muff. She has a beard. <laughs> what is it? Hey? It's um the <laughs> Oh, from the train? Anyway, I uh, have our uh, Vegemite with us at the trailer and Shayla said she wants to try it because she's brave like that. <laughs> and um, I was explaining to her this is from Australia and they eat it there. So I'm going to give it to her. All right. She's got some water. Right, this is what it looks like. Okay. I'll just put it on your finger. Hold on there. Okay, hold on. Okay. Tell me if you like it. Some people love it. <laughs> Most people hate it. It's the grossest thing you've ever tried, right? <laughs> like, can you, people eat this. Like, some people eat it with a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> so Here, gross. Alright, I'll put you gotta eat it though if I put I'm it on the fish cracker. Yeah. Anyway, it is for sure the hottest day of the summer so far. And we are doing what any self respecting Canadian would do. We are headed back to the pool uh, because it's the only place. Let's see, look at I'm getting sunburned. Holy cow. It is the only place that you can hang out outside and still stay cool. What is it? There are all these little fluffy things from the trees, seeds from the trees blowing around. But anyway, let's go. Um, our little baby bird is doing super well. He came to the pool with us. Yeah, he came to the pool with us. He doesn't say no birds and only says no dogs. Yeah, it does not say no birds at the pool, only no dogs. We are home from the beach, Sophie and I. We are sufficiently sunburnt. I love tanning, you guys. I love the sun. I love the feel of the heat. I am a true Florida girl. Um, anyway, we're headed down to the beach, but the weird, or we're not headed down to the beach. We're headed down <laughs> to take our, our horses out of the barn. It was so hot today. It's so crazy. You're outside and you're dying of the heat, but inside with the air conditioning, you have to put like on sweaters and bathrobes just to be warm. It's amazing how much cooler a barn is. I see flies. There are little bugs blowing around. Um, Sam was so good. He put a fan on for our oh, horses. Yeah, I need to show you something. Uh oh, what's your horse doing there? It doesn't also catch, it catches spiders too. Oh, there's a huge spider in there. Yeah. It catches spiders too. So are you going to take Finn and Storm to eat grass? Yeah, well I'm waiting for Sophie to come down and take Finn. I'll take him. So basically this is my summer hair. You just have to get used to it. This is what happens in the summer. Oh, what are you doing? Anyway, so basically it is 6 p.m. It is still scorching hot outside, but the horses can't stay in all the time. 
Um, but we do, we are gonna leave them out all night. So we are gonna take Finn and Storm and let them have some grass for night, before the nighttime comes. And then we're gonna bring them um, back into the arena and let's do it. Don't be afraid. Just break the chains of your feet. The goal is to get them to eat all this grass all back in here so we can elongate the paddock and all back there. Is there water in their arena? Or is there water in their thing? Yeah, they're gonna need more though. So the people that were meant to come today and take out the rest of their junk, they were meant to come to yesterday and then it got switched to today and then today they didn't even call to say they weren't going to come. Obviously they're not going to come because it's 31 degrees out here. So scorching hot. We're sitting here watching the horses under the umbrella. You need to move. You're taking up this whole chair. This is my chair. After I'm having a crunchy. I'm um, so what happened crunchy. to your face? What? what happened to your face? Oh, oh, you think it's time for food, do you? Oh, look at his little mouth. Look how he's cute. So he's so cute and tiny. He's way smaller than our last bird. He's so super cute. Did he poop? Yeah. Oh, good. I worry about him pooping because our last bird pooped a lot more. He gets cold easily. You get cold so easily because you got no feathers. So look at how pretty he is. Okay, guys, what kind of bird do you think that he is? I know. Yeah, Gabby said. Ruby doesn't get him. He's gonna be a black bird with a white chest with black dots. Was he the bird that we saw at the barn that um, was screeching at his nest? I don't a kill know. deer. I'm not sure. I was hoping it was a kill deer, but it's not. Gabby says it's a little blackbird that what? It's so it small. It has a white chest. And on that white chest, it has black dots. Black dots on a white chest. So we'll have to look it up. It's he so is small. pretty cute. He's going to be the best baby bird I've ever raised. Kind of like Romeo. He's a we lot have like. bird here. Do we? Oh, good. Mm. Don't fall. Don't fall. That is it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Bye.